We celebrate taking one more step toward a cancer-free world, and we celebrate coming together at this awesome event called Relay for Life. Students, survivors, and volunteers walk 24 hours straight with one common purpose, to fight back against cancer. More than 141 teams participated in this year's Relay for Life, with all money going towards the American Cancer Society. Andrea Green is a cancer survivor. She says her road to remission wasn't an easy one. Um, I had to stay in New York City where I had the transplant done for up to 100 days and um, was out of work for 15 months uh, because of the illness. 1,400 participants are taking part in this weekend's Relay for Life in hopes that one day they will find a cure for cancer. Many have set up tents where they were able to bring food, water, and anything else that they might need for the 24 hours beginning 5 p.m. on Friday to 5 p.m. Saturday. And at that campsite, that's where you'll spend a majority of your time so you can bond with your team while some of your teammates are doing the walking. Many students take this time to bond with friends, but for sophomore Adam Browse, relay means much more. His mother was recently diagnosed with thyroid cancer. You know, finding it out made it a whole, a whole different experience for me. It's like, you know, having a family member um, be diagnosed is like something I never would have happened to me. And, like, it's not really a huge deal, but at the same time, it does make a big difference. So, like, the fact that I do participate in the and relay means a whole lot more than you have than before. By this afternoon, over $100,000 was raised for the American Cancer Society. Reporting from University Park, I'm Kelly Rohr.